So the importance of the glove box is it gives us a place where we can work with really sensitive chemicals in an inner atmosphere. A lot of chemicals react with oxygen that's out in normal atmosphere, where in the glove box we have nitrogen or argon, which don't react with most other chemicals. There are other ways to do things, but they're a lot longer and, and harder. For the glove box, we have an inlet of inert gas, and the glove box regulates the pressure. So um, if, like uh, when I'm going into the glove box, it's pushing pressure on the glove box, so it removes some of the gas. And then once you come out, it fills it back up. When you want to bring something into the glove box, we go through the antechamber, which is sort of like an airlock. You think of like maybe on a sci-fi spaceship, where you put something in, in normal atmosphere, you pull vacuum on that so it removes any kind of atmosphere, and then you refill with your inert atmosphere, and then you can bring that into your glove box. So in the glove box, I took some sodium and cut it open because generally on the outside of the sodium, it tarnishes. So once you cut it, it exposes nice clean sodium. And then I just wanted to show that once you put it into a liquid in the glove box, it's inert, it won't do anything. Um, especially with a, a solvent like pentane. Um, if we had sodium outside the glove box, it would react with atmospheric water um, and ruin the chemistry we're trying to do with, with sodium. So that's why we keep sodium in the glove box so it doesn't react with, with water. So I pre-cut some sodium and have it in hexanes, which is similar liquid that we put it in the glove box, just so it has some layer over it that it doesn't react with water in the atmosphere. So I'm just going to take some out of here and dump it in the water, which it should react. So the sodium is reducing the water to make sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. And what normally happens in a small container like this, the hydrogen gas builds up and can get ignited by the heat being put off by this reaction. Whoa. There we go. <laughs>